Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric. I am back in the final episode of my horror movie marathon. Don't worry, next October there will be a whole new season. And I know that there's a whole bunch of reviews that were requested that I haven't gotten to. Mainly because, well, I haven't seen them. And I haven't had time to watch some other movies that were requested. So anyways, I'm here for in the final episode, but I'm going to try to make this one a special one. And, as most of you of my subscribers know, that I'm a big Halloween fan. I have already reviewed Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, which was a piece of garbage. Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, in my opinion, is another piece of garbage. Halloween H2O, which is another Halloween movie that I reviewed, which I thought was a pretty good movie. And now I'm finally going to review the original, the one, the only, the classic John Carpenter's Halloween. In my opinion, is the greatest horror movie ever made and is the scariest movie I have ever seen in my life. Before I explain the plot to this movie, I, I feel that it's important for me to explain how I found out about the original Halloween. Remember it was back in fifth grade, it was, remember it was like during PE, remember I, I, I got in trouble for I don't remember for what reason, it was during October, all the other kids were playing dodgeball, I had to sit out, and I was sitting by these two kids, one of them's name was Zach, and the other kid, I don't remember his name. We were all talking about what's the scariest movie we've ever seen. And Zach told me Halloween. He said that it's the scariest movie he has ever seen, and that he's seen all the Halloween movies. After that, I got pretty curious about the original Halloween. I thought, whoa, they made a horror movie called Halloween? That's like the perfect title. So, as I said, I got curious about it. Then, I think it was on Halloween night, I couldn't sleep, so then I woke up, I turned on the TV, and what do you know? Guess what was on TV? The original Halloween. Remember, remember that before, right before I watched the original Halloween on TV, I said to myself, this movie isn't going to be scary. But after the movie got over, I was very, very wrong. I was way wrong. This is... This movie actually gave me nightmares. I am dead serious. Remember this one nightmare I... That I had about Halloween? Was I was trick-or-treating by myself in, in the dark. Nobody was there. It was just me in a dark alley. And then like Michael Myers came out of nowhere and yep, I think you could take it from there. <sighs> that man, this is the scariest movie I have ever seen in my life. But why? Why is the original Halloween so scary and why does it work so well with it has no blood, no gore, no special effects? None of that. How? But how does it still scare you? The reason is mainly because in the when the movie first opens, all that you see is someone's point of view. You don't know who it is, but then you find out. Oh my God! It it was a kid, and and the character of Michael Myers himself. He is the he out of all the horror movie icons, Freddy, Jason. Um, Jigsaw, Ghostface, Leatherface, Pinhead. In my opinion, Michael Myers beats all of them. He's the scariest. He's the most realistic. Well, as realistic as it gets. And Freddy and Jason, they're just monsters. It can't really happen. But Michael Myers is is a is a man, a evil man, and. And one reason why he's just so scary, you do not know why he kills. He kills people just for just for the fun of it. It's 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 much scarier trying to guess. Okay, why is he killing people? Why? 
that's one thing that the sequels and the remakes really screwed up. In the remakes, he kills for revenge. And because his mommy told him to. But it's just... Okay, remember in The Dark Knight, the Joker? Remember when he told you all those stories about how he got his scars? It was... It's much scarier to guess why he got those scars and... Or how he got them and why is he so messed up. It's just much scarier. It's... It, 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 it works so much better. And in the remakes, they kind of make you feel sorry for him. You don't want to feel sorry for him. You want to be afraid of him. Another thing that really, really works well about Michael Myers is his mask. It's just a plain, emotionless, white mask with no emotions, just those two black holes. It's much, much scary you're trying to guess oh my god what is underneath that mask then to actually see his face I know that they show his face at like the very last two seconds of the movie but that was only for two seconds and in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 you see his face all the time which completely ruined Michael Myers it's it's much scary trying to guess what his face looks like and his deep breathing that is just really, really creepy. How he just, how he just stares at you in the shadows, hiding in the shadows. Like Michael Myers could be behind you right now, and you could be his next victim. Anybody can be his next victim. That's another thing that they screwed up in the Halloween sequels. In, in Halloween Six, he could only kill his family members. Well, well, if he only kills his family members, then. All the people who aren't his family, he don't have to worry. He's not going to come after us. But in the first one, he could, anybody could be his next victim. And that's much more terrifying. Another thing that really worked well about Halloween, you guessed it, the music. The music to Halloween is absolutely brilliant. It's so simple, but yet it works so well. Just like in the the original Jaws. The Jaws theme is so simple, just two notes, but yet it works so well and it made the movie so much better. <sighs> Remember that that was one thing that that really creeped me out when I first saw Halloween was the music. I mean, if you're in a dark room and you just listen to the the music, you'll get just as scared. Maybe even more. Remember that back in the uh, back in the eighth grade, we had a talent show, and guess what I did? There, we had the lights off. I wore I wore this hoodie, and you, and you couldn't see my face. And guess what song I played? Yep, you guessed it, the Halloween theme. And I got the biggest applause. Remember that, like the whole school, like went insane after that, because I didn't want to do something what what people already done like a billion times at the talent show, like always sing some popular song. Anyways, I'm getting kind of off topic. Another thing that really worked well about Halloween was Donald Pleasance. If you don't know who Donald Pleasance is, he was in what he was a James Bond villain, I think in Goldfinger, but I could be wrong. He did a very, very good job, especially his his lines and the way he said them. They were very, very creepy. And Jamie Lee Curtis, she did a very good job. Her character is likable, and and the way that she screamed is just really, really creepy. She she did a good job. So, anyways, the. Original Halloween is the best of the whole series. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Five stars out of five, but there's only one teeny tiny little flaw, and I know it's kind of nitpicking, but how the hell did Michael Myers get a driver's license when he, or how does he know how to drive? Did they have like driver's ed at the mental institution? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense but that trust me that does not ruin this fantastic movie 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something. After when I first saw Halloween, I I asked my mom if she ever saw it, and guess what? When my parents first started dating, yes, my parents met in high school. Guess what was? Guess what? Guess what movie they saw on their very first date? Halloween. Yes, they saw Halloween on their first date, but they didn't finish the whole movie because they were so scared. I don't freaking blame them. <sighs> that is just so ironic that my parents saw this movie on their first date back in high school. So anyways, there's not much else to say about this great horror movie. I know that there's a whole bunch of reviews that I haven't gone to in my horror movie marathon this year. I'm sorry about that. I'll try to get to them next year. I promise. So anyways, be safe this Halloween, and I'll see you later.